Good evening, and we begin tonight with a debate on legislation that would change requirements Idahoans have to meet to get initiatives on the ballot. Senate Bill 1159, which opponents are also calling the Revenge Against Voters Act, is still working its way through the legislative process. And today, the House introduced its own bill to go along with it. Our Misty England was at the Capitol today following this development. Misty. Mark and Kim, Senate Bill 1159 is the original proposal to change voter initiative ballot requirements. Today, the House Ways and Means Committee introduced what's called a trailer's bill. So that would make changes to the original Senate bill without having to put it through the entire amendment process. But the bill and the way it was introduced causing some controversy. The House will be in order. House Bill 296, a trailer's bill, would change the original Senate proposal on voter initiative requirements. The original proposal calls for 10% of voter signatures from 32 of 35 legislative districts. It would also cut the time to get those signatures from 18 months to 6 months. The new House bill would tweak a few of those changes to require the signatures from only 23 of the 35 districts and allow nine months to do it, not six. Some lawmakers say the goal is to get more representation from rural counties in the initiative process. They're going to have to go in now into 23 legislative districts, and so you're not going to be able to just go into Ada County, Canyon County, and Bonneville County and get your signatures. You're going to have to go into some of those rural counties, those rural legislative districts, and make your case to those voters. But other lawmakers are taking issue with how the trailer bill was introduced. During Thursday's meeting on the House floor, the House went to recess for a time. According to Representative Matt Erpelding, during that time, some members of the Ways and Means Committee met and decided to introduce the bill. Erpelding feels that was, quote, unlawful and unprecedented. He sent this statement, quote, a small group of Republicans met, debated the bill in secret, and are now running a new revenge on voters bill. This is a classic case of abuse of power as far as I am concerned, end quote. Other opponents like Reclaim Idaho feel any changes to the voter initiative process will hurt Idahoans. We believe that this is the opposite of what the intention of the bill is claimed to be and that in fact it would open the door for only uh, big money special interest groups that could pay signature gatherers to be able to, to be successful with a ballot initiative. Reclaim Idaho is also starting a tour this weekend about Senate Bill 1159. They will be asking voters to convince Governor Little to veto the bill if it makes it to his desk. Now the bill's sponsor, who is Representative Sage Dix Dixon, declined to speak with us today. Instead, we spoke with Representative Brent Crane, who tells me that the idea behind the House bill is to create a sort of common ground between the Senate version of the bill, that original bill, and what House committee members heard from the public that they did not like about it. Crane says that the House will discuss and vote on both the Senate and the House versions at the same time, and that could happen tomorrow or it could happen Monday. Mark? Right, a number of issues yet to tie up before they adjourn. Signy die for the session. Doesn't look like it's going to happen this week. We'll continue to monitor it. Thanks, Misty.